Worthing three, Hemel Hempstead one, Aaron Racine following that one. How are you feeling? Tired, but uh, just relieved it's done really, especially after the way we started. Um, obviously didn't start too well, um, but fortunately we sort of dug in, saw it through and got the result. The goals all came in the first half, do you think it was more of an intensity in the first half compared to the second? Yeah, I think so. I think today we were clinical. We didn't really get a couple of chances which maybe we could have scored, but I think the chances we had, we took. Maybe in other games we don't take them, and it's a completely different game. Um, I mean, that got us off the hook, especially the, like I said, the way we started. We were so slow and so sloppy. Um, so the, getting those three goals and being clinical really helped us. Yeah, and um, coming off the back of such a heavy run of games as well, with the Tuesday, the Wednesday, even Saturday, midweek, last week at Farmer as well, it must be a bit of a relief as well to have that extra day of rest going into the playoffs. 100%, yeah. 100%, I was thinking, just thinking the exact same thing, obviously, given the uh, arrangements of games. That would have our third back-to-back -back midweek game. Then going again at the weekend, touch with if we do it, and then obviously cut final on Thursday, and then again if we get through to the final, it's just an unbelievable, well, an unbelievably tough um, next couple of weeks. But it does make a big difference that extra day. But it's an exciting couple of weeks, potentially. Yeah, massive. I mean, even even what we've done this year, again, another cup final is good. Um, I think where we've finished in the league this year has been, I think it's been unbelievable considering the first year and I think the age of the squad. Um, but it's one of those situations where you're just so close, you don't really want to accept anything else but success. Reflecting on this season, I mean, we've come off the back of some ridiculously successful seasons the last three years. It's been kind of crazy how consistent we've been actually being at the top and, and going into the next league above and doing what we've done. Yeah, I think, yeah. It's I, I, no disrespect this league. I, I thought it might be a bit, a bit tougher, especially for our, our team, but it, it is obviously a, a, a bigger step up. But I think a lot of credit goes to us as a squad and how, especially the young lads, how they actually stepped up to the challenge. We've got a few more additions in last year, but we've still got a, a good core from last year as well. Um, and again, where we're so young, some people might have written us off straight away, but I think we've, um, like I said, as a group, as a collective, I think we stood up to the, st stood up to the challenge quite well. Yes, I mean, the, the results speak for itself. Fourth in the table, it couldn't have really been much better. How are you feeling going into the playoffs? Are you confident for how we can get on in that? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, we played a... Uh, well, we played Braintree away, a fairly even game, probably didn't deserve what well, we should have maybe got got more than what we got there. Um, obviously played them at home recently, got the result there. Um, but I think anyone at home, I think we've got to back ourselves against anyone, especially in this league, especially on a Tuesday night, um, when the surface will be a bit zippy, it will suit us down to the ground. And uh, just for you actually, you've obviously got a National League playoff experience, captain for us at Wembley. In a, in a National League playoff final, so you've got that little bit of know-how. Paxman as well, he was in a, a National League final as well. Do you think that little bit of experience could help the uh, the younger guys in a high-pressure game like that? Yeah, I think so. I think um, I think just experience in itself. I think you've got obviously yourself, Pax. You've got um, Kano. Ollie's getting on a bit now, um, but he's just got a lot of games on his belt. Even the likes of you know like Joel. Um, that that sort of experience there and that, that age range and the games we've got as a collective, I think we can help obviously the young lads and I think it'll be a it'll, it'll be a big plus for everyone.